So who is a licensed sponsor and what do they have to do with you moving to the UK? The short answer, everything. So if you want to move to the UK, you've come to the right place because that's exactly what we talk about on this channel. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, now's a good time to do it and let's dive right in. Employers or companies in the UK who are looking to hire from outside the country need a sponsor license. If they don't have this license, they simply cannot afford to offer you a visa to work in the UK, no matter how perfect you are for the role. Depending on the type of work they want to hire for, whether they want to hire somebody from a different country, which would mean a skilled worker visa, or transfer someone who works in a different branch of their company to the UK, that could mean an intra-company transfer visa, they have to apply for the license. So what does this mean for you? This means that you should ideally be looking for jobs with roles with companies that are listed as registered sponsors. If you apply to somebody who isn't a registered sponsor, the chances are extremely high of you not getting the job. I mean, if you are exceptionally talented and exceptionally brilliant and your CV is just absolutely great, they may consider offering you a job, which means they'll have to apply for the license themselves. The whole process will take a lot of months. So the likelihood of that is extremely low, but not impossible. But it is definitely smarter to stick to the list of license sponsors. Now, you can find the list on gov.uk's website, and I've added the link in the description box below, but be prepared. There are close to 53,000 names on this list, so it can be really difficult if you don't know all the names of the companies in your industry because there's no industry column. Now, one way to do it is to identify the companies that you're interested in and then just do a control F and look and see whether their names fall under this list. But there is an easier way to do it. Visit this website, uktsponsors.co.uk. If you check for Maidenhead, there are only three companies registered under the IT and telecom field. But if you put the filter for London, bam! A whole lot of companies just turn up. Now that you have the list of licensed sponsors, the chances of you getting a job just went up because you know where to look. But if the role you're applying for falls under the shortage occupation list, your chances of getting a job in the UK went drastically high. Now, if you'd like to know more about the shortage occupation list, watch this video.